So we have the next theorem, which is actually a characterization of linear transformations. A mapping from T to uh, uh, from Rm to Rn is a linear transformation if and only if we have two properties. Yeah, first of all, the image of the sum of two vectors is the same as the sum of the two images of these vectors. Yeah, t of x plus y equals t of x plus t y. And secondly, the image of k times a vector x is k times the image of x, so k times t of x. So how can we use this, to, this theorem? Well, we exploit it in the following sense. For example, suppose that we know for a certain <coughs> linear transformation that it maps the vector 3, 0 onto 6, 3 and that the image of 6, 2 equals a vector 10, 8. So we may conclude that actually T is a mapping from R2 to R2. So now determine the matrix A such that T of X is A times X. If T is linear, suppose it's a linear transformation, then the solution is as follows. We know that 6, 3 equals the T of 3, 0. But the t of 3, 0 is the t of 3 times 1, 0. Yeah. And here we use the second property, because 3, 0 is for 3 times 1, 0. So we have 3 times t of e1, the first natural unit vector. So from this we deduce that t of e1 is one third, one third times three times t e1 is six three, so t e1 is one third six three is the vector two one. Well now ten eight, which is actually the image of the vector six two, well, we write 6, 2 differently because 6, 2 is 6, 0 plus 0, 2. So we use property 1 in order to conclude that t of 6, 2 equals t of 6, 0 plus t of 0, 2. Well, t of 6, 0 is 6 times t, 1, 0 plus 2 times t, 0, 1. Following the second property. Well, we know what t10 is. This is this equals t e1, so we get 6 times t e1 plus 2 times t e2. Yeah, e2 is here. So, which means that 2 t e2 equals 10 8 minus 6 times t e1. And we know what t e1 is because we just calculated it. So this is 10, 8 minus 6 times the vector 2, 1. So it equals 10, 8 minus the vector 12, 6, which means that we get the vector minus 2, 2. So we may conclude that actually we can also calculate TE2. TE2 is a half times minus 2, 2 is equal to minus 1, 1. So the conclusion is 
that the matrix for this linear transformation consists of two columns, TE1 and TE2, TE1 being equal to 2, 1, and TE2 being equal to minus 1, 1. So we get a matrix for this transformation equal to 2, 1, minus 1, 1.